वर्ड प्राइवेसी और प्रीवसी देन लेट मी टेल यू दैट बोथ द प्रोनाउंसिएशन ऑफ दैट वर्ड इज एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट एंड नाउ यू आर गेटिंग कंफ्यूज दैट इफ द बोथ द प्रोनाउंसिएशन इज करेक्ट देन व्हिच वन प्रोनाउंसिएशन शुड आई लर्न एंड स्पीक व्हाइल स्पीकिंग एंड डू वी हैव टू लर्न द प्रोनाउंसिएशन ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी वर्ड इन अमेरिकन एज़ वेल एज़ इन द ब्रिटिश प्रोनाउंसिएशन देन लेट मी टेल यू देयर आर ओनली फ्यू वर्ड्स व्हिच प्रोनाउंसिएशन इज डिफर इन अमेरिकन एंड ब्रिटिश प्रोनाउंसिएशन एंड द बिगेस्ट क्वेश्चन अराइज इफ यू फेस दोस वर्ड व्हिच प्रोनाउंसिएशन इज डिफर then which one pronunciation should i speak so in this video i am going to tell you about that how will you get to know that which one pronunciation should i learn and speak so before starting this video let me quickly note you that you are watching speak swiftly english and if you are interested then keep watching it if you want to live abroad or want to settle in abroad for any reason like your job or business etc uh, then it sound more beneficial to learn the pronunciation of that particular reason For example, if you uh, if you are planning to live abroad, uh, like uh, United States in your near future, then it sounds more beneficial to learn the pronunciation of America uh, as compared to the British pronunciation, and it will help you to uh, interact with the American native speaker in your near in your near future. So, if you have the very clear set mind that what will you have to do in your near future. then this decision is going to be very easy for you so the second way that how will you get to know that which one pronunciation should i learn is your personal preference uh see it might be possible that you are already aware about the existence of the both the pronunciation but you love any one among both of the pronunciation and might have the personal preference for one accent over the other accent and you feel more comfortable with that pronunciation and if something like that uh, you love the one pronunciation over the other pronunciation you love the one accent over the other accent and you feel more comfortable with one accent over the other pron- uh, over the other accent then go for that one pronunciation or accent which you love the most for example if you love to immerse yourself in the british culture or literature then go for that one pronunciation and learn british pronunciation rather than american pronunciation because Uh, after all no one pronunciation is wrong and uh, it's also not like that the uh, pronunciation of each and every word is different no it's nothing like that so learn the pronunciation which you love the most so the third way that how will you get to know that which one pronunciation should i learn is depend on the resources which you have resources may uh, resources means uh, it may be easier to find the uh, learning materials courses or opportunities for speaking practice for one pronunciation is easier over the other and if you find that uh, learning one pronunciation is become easier for me over the other then go for that one pronunciation because if you focus on those thing which become difficult for you then you start demotivating and might be possible that you uh, you starting losing your interest over your goal so don't think too much about that which one pronunciation should i learn because both the pronunciation are intelligible and with the exposure of the efforts and hard work you can adopt the both the pronunciation and at last the choice between the american pr- pronunciation and the british pronunciation is totally depend on their individual efforts and the goals and the circumstances so at last i just wanted to say that keep learning never stop and grow a lot take care of yourself and bye bye